Hey Keto Clan, today we're talking about intermittent fasting. Welcome back everybody. So today we're going to be talking about intermittent fasting, why we do it, the different kinds there are, and I'm going to be going over a new method that I'm developing that I'm having great success with with the people that are helping me test it out. So we'll get right into it. So why do we intermittent fast? Why, why is that a thing? So to answer that, we really have to understand when our body creates ketones, uh, especially since most people do intermittent fasting and especially us in the keto world, we do intermittent fasting to increase the number of ketones and put our body into a state of ketosis. So there's two different ways and two different times that our bodies will create ketones. Uh, the first time is when we eat. We eat, our bodies turn the fat that we eat into ketones to help fuel us for the rest of the day. The next time is when we have ran out of the food that we've eaten and our bodies go towards our energy reserves. When our body starts converting the fat that we have stored around our thighs, around our waist, around wherever, and starts turning that fat into ketones. And that's why we intermittent fast. Uh, the act of fasting makes our bodies run through the fuel that we've given it, which we have to do, we have to eat, so our body gets in the mode of converting fat into ketones. And then, once all that fat has been converted and we are using more energy and our bodies need more energy, it's already in the fat burn stage. It's already in the, I'm gonna create my energy from fat and create ketones. So it starts attacking the stored energy or the stored fat. This is what makes intermittent fasting so powerful. Now, there's several different methods, there's several different um, ideas on the best way to do intermittent fasting. And I'm gonna go over a few of them, and then at the end, I'm gonna go over a new method that I've been developing that's working really well and seems to be a little bit easier on people too. So the first method is the 16 by eight. That means you're fasting for 16 hours and then you eat all the meals, eat all the calories, eat all the food that you're going to eat within an eight hour window every day. Now, this can be fairly easy for a lot of people. Uh, you just don't eat after dinner, you skip breakfast and you pick up eating with lunchtime. Um, if you're somebody who really gets hungry in the morning like me, this one might be a little bit harder to do, um, which is also why I actually don't do it. Um, my particular method of intermittent fasting falls under the way that I'm developing, of course, um, and we'll go over that later. The next way is the five by two. Uh, that means that for five days out of the week, you're eating normal. And for the other two days, you're either eating nothing or you're eating very, very minimal, like five, 600 calories uh, a day. Um, and that's usually broken up into two meals, uh, you know, 250 to 300 calories uh, per meal. Now, I don't like doing this because one, I don't like going a whole day without eating. By the end of the day, whether my body's in ketosis and using my fat reserves or not, I just feel sluggish. Uh, and honestly, it sucks. Uh, you get hungry, especially when your body's used to eating uh, a couple of times a day, or even if your body's used to eating once a day, that is what it becomes accustomed to. And you're going to start getting those uh, hunger pains and you're going to have to force yourself to ignore them. And that just kind of sucks. Um, and, and that's really the issue that I've had with intermittent fasting period, no matter what method that you use, uh, which is also why I've developed the method that we're going to be talking about later. Uh, but until then, we have the eat, stop, eat method. And this is essentially you eat like normal uh, 
for five or six days out of the week. And the other days, the one or two days, you're eating nothing. It's the, the 24 hours of uh, not eating. Um, and again, we run into the exact same issue. And in, in fact, this method and the five by two method are incredibly similar. And then my absolute least favorite of the intermittent fasting methods is the alternate day fasting. This calls for you to eat like normal one day, the next day you eat nothing, and then you eat like normal the next day, and then it's just alternating 24 hours of fasting. And the thing about that is if you have dinner, if you finish dinner at nine o'clock at night, and that's pretty late for most people, if you finish dinner at nine o'clock at night, and then you don't eat until 6 a.m., not the next day, but the day after that, you're actually fasting for 30 hours, 32 hours, I think. My math might be wrong. That's a long time. Yes, you're sleeping through, you know, 16 hours of that, but still. Uh, that, that just seems excessive, and it seems like it would be a whole lot of trying to force yourself not to eat. And that doesn't make sense to me. Before we get into the keto dragon method of intermittent fasting, what I want you to do is go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Uh, these are gonna be the videos that lay the foundation of the keto dragon style of keto. Um, this is a, a method that I am developing. I have several test subjects right now that are doing wonderfully. Uh, I am going to be uh, compiling all this into a book and that will be available uh, to everybody as soon as I get it all finished. So now we come to the Dragon Keto's method of fasting. Get ready, there's a secret. Eat when you're hungry. Yeah, now, if you've seen my other videos and I'll link to them up here, you have heard me say this before. Eat when you're hungry. Now, the, 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 the key to this, okay? You have to actually know when you're hungry, okay? Our whole lives, we've been eating a diet that has made our body crave certain things and those cravings we have understood to be hunger. It's not hunger. When you find yourself wanting a particular something, that isn't hunger. That isn't your body telling you that you need fuel. Your body telling you that you need fuel is actual physical sensations in your gut. Serious physical sensations, not I think I felt a little something. No, actual full-blown sensations in your gut and a lack of energy. Also, one of the keys to the Keto Dragon method of fasting is you do actually put it off for a little while. The second you feel that, you don't go running for the fridge. You don't go running for your pork rinds. You don't go running for your favorite keto snack. Wait. You feel it, give it an hour. And then eat. I don't want anybody to ever feel like they're starving. You shouldn't ever feel like you're starving. If you're following your keto diet correctly, if you're getting the amount of fat in that your body needs, you're not going to feel hungry often. This is the way I have been fasting for two years. My typical day starts off with a simple fat bomb shake, which I'll put the recipe to down below, and then nothing until what is typically dinner time. Sometimes that's six o'clock, sometimes that's seven o'clock, sometimes it's eight o'clock. I don't know. It depends on when I get hungry. And then I'll eat a big meal. Now, I do it like this because I have a very, very active life. I'm a construction worker. Uh, the other day, I took 30,000 steps in the day. 20,000 steps were just in my eight hours at work. I use a lot of energy. So my meal at night is because I'm hungry and I need to refuel my body from what I've used. The shake in the morning, that fat bomb shake in the morning, I am prepping myself for what I know I'm about to do. I know I'm about to spend a lot of energy. Now, 
the amount of energy that I spend at work is far exceeds the amount of fat, the amount of calories, the amount of energy that's in that fat bomb. That's what keeps me in ketosis and that's what keeps me burning fat off of my body. But because I know how much energy I use throughout the day, I throw in a meal, meal, it's, it's a shake, um, to preempt the amount of energy that I'm going to take. Now, you experiment. Eat when you're hungry. Well, eat about an hour after you first feel hungry. Only eat when you're hungry. Don't eat for any other reason. If your friends and family invite you out to dinner, go. Don't eat. Sit there. Enjoy conversation. Enjoy the camaraderie. Enjoy the socialization. You don't have to eat if you're not hungry. You will naturally fall into the intermittent fasting that is good for your body. And when you do that, the results are really going to start kicking in. So I hope this helped everybody out. Until next time, keto on.